Good morning. It's about six o'clock this morning. I'm just waking up, making some coffee, feeding the birdies. Looks like a beautiful day today. We're going to be busy. I'll see you in a little bit. And just an update, I am enjoying this book. I think I'm on, like, page 113. There's 800 and something pages in this. I told you it's large print. I've graduated to large print. I'm enjoying it, but the danger of getting a book in the summertime is that I'm busy running around doing stuff. So uh, I used to do so much reading, and I definitely do a lot less lately. But I am enjoying this. We were going to go to the library last night for the local community show, I think, with the police force. But, you know, sometimes life happens and we decided not to go. We will go next week. But I'll be back at the library on Friday. I'm and... putting together these clips for the new journal entry for the Gypsy and the Witch. I was able to finish the page last night. Now let me finish the video. Wow, guys, I can't believe it. I just finished filming the final page and... It's been 12 months already that Rita and I began this journey here, and I can't believe that this part of it's over. This chapter's closed, but there's new chapter opening. So happy to have that finished. That'll come out on the 15th, and right now I am starving. So let's make a smoothie. I'll see what I have on hand, and I'm still not dressed, but we'll get moving with the day. See you in a few. Okay, I thought I'd use up some of these bananas because I have a huge bag of them. So I have my food processor out here. I have some blueberries and some dates, some coconut, a little bit of vanilla, and some water. I'm out of almond milk. So, And then I thought maybe we could sprinkle some granola on top. I'm getting ambitious. So first, let's mix up some dates and I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, with a little bit of water. And I think I'm going to blend some of that coconut too, just because it's pretty big. This is the coconut that I got in my uh, vegan snacks, vegan cuts snack box. So. We'll just blend some of that up too. Why not? With a little bit of vanilla. I'm making this up as I go, guys. Let's see what we got. See you in a minute. Wow, that made a lot of noise. Okay, I added a little more water while that was going. So next I'm going to add some of these blueberries. And after those whip up, I'll add a few of the bananas. So I'm going to add a few before this gets going. It made a big mess. So here we go. <laughs> Okay, so the, look how purple that is. Isn't that great? Um, I also pulled out some flaxseed powder. I'm always forgetting something. So let's add a little bit of that. Never tried this recipe, you guys. I'm just going to add like, I don't know, two tablespoons. I really like this stuff. Totally adds a nutty flavor. And you know what? Let's add, start adding bananas. I'm going to do probably, I don't know, five or six pieces, okay? So let's get these started, and I'll see you when that part's done. Hey, guys, I want to say I did about five bananas. This is what it's looking like. It looks amazing. 
It's like a shake, you know, banana blueberry shake. So I'm going to put this in a bowl and put some granola on top. And I'll see you back here for a bite. I put a little granola on top and a few more blueberries. Doesn't that look amazing? It's not too hot here today, but this is super cold. Oh. Okay, here we go. Hmm. Wow. Tastes like ice cream. Tastes like melted blueberry ice cream. The banana flavor is not strong, I think, due to the vanilla and the coconut. The coconut adds a really nice flavor. The dates make it nice and sweet, and dates to me taste like caramel, so that's always a good thing. And how can you go wrong with blueberries, right? I really recommend this, you guys. Um, I didn't use much water at all, maybe like a quarter of a cup. If I had almond milk, I'd be using almond milk. Really good. So I'm going to finish this up. Mm. I'm going to get dressed. Not that I'm not dressed. I slept with the Rolling Stones last night. Thumbs up for any Rolling Stones fans. Uh, yeah, finish getting dressed. I'm going to finish editing the Gypsy and Witch video. At 1 o'clock I have a hair appointment. I'll take you with me. And then after that, I'm meeting Miss Patty again, and we're going to get some Indian food tonight. So that's my big day. Um, maybe I'll pay some bills later. Not really sure. I'm waiting for another vegan cut snack box, too. So, And... I need to get started on some Happy Meal. So um, I'm going to finish this amazing breakfast. Highly recommend it. Give it a shot. Thumbs up if you're vegan. Oh my God. Shout I out to Lauren Toyota, this. Hot for this Food. Love her. It's about 11 o'clock, guys, and I'm taking a break from editing. And I've been watching Lauren Toyota's What I Eat in a Day videos, and the danger is it makes you hungry. So all I did was heat up some of these meatless balls. These are from the brand Gardein. I love their meatless meatballs. They taste exactly like Grandma used to make, except no animals were hurt. And they're delicious. So I'm going to have these just with some sauce. I'm not even going to heat up pasta. just going to eat these. They're left over from last night's dinner. And, yeah, get back to work. See you in a few. Here's the package for those meatless balls, guys. Again, I try to stay away from a lot of processed food, but every once in a while, these are just amazing. So, can't recommend them enough. Okay, the Nag Champa is lit. Time to get to work. Having a good day, guys. Feeling good. Hope you are, too. Got the Gypsy and Witch video ready to go. Publish at midnight on the 15th. See you there. Okay guys, we got seven minutes to make it to my appointment. I think I can do it without speeding. I hate being late. I think it's a Virgo trait. I think it's disrespectful. Look, it's one thing if you can't help it, honestly can't help it, but people who are habitually late, I feel, kind of give the message that 
you know, you don't matter. I hate, a pet peeve of mine is having to wait for people. I've always been that way. I'm not impatient by nature, but if you tell me one o'clock and it's 1.20, I get a little annoyed. So I try to do the same courtesy, but it's super hot out. Woof. And I'm wearing another patty dress. Super hot out, but it looks like we may get some thunder showers again. And I wonder, you guys know I don't watch the news or anything. I haven't heard a weather report, but tomorrow, let me close the Whoa, oh my gosh. You guys, I live in an area where we have a lot of summer visitors and some of them, it seems to me, haven't learned how to drive, just saying. Anyway, uh, tomorrow, my daughter and my grandkids, and we were all going to go swimming. I think my pool is open. I have not verified that yet, but it may rain. So, you don't wanna swim in the rain. Watch out for lightning. Uh, yeah, so we'll take it day by day, but either way, I believe that Young Carter will be spending the night with me maybe Thursday through Saturday-ish. Sunday I have something to do. I'm going to hear, I told you, my friend Ellen's husband plays with our friend Steve. Shout out to Steve's music. And they're playing locally. And we're gonna catch that gig on Sunday. It's, and we can also get dinner over there, so that'll be good. And these are my last minutes as a, you guys probably really can't tell because again, the lighting is not so great. And you may think I'm a little nutso with the hair here, but it is still too red for me. So I'm not going as dark as I was, but I do at least need to be like a medium brunette. And again, I don't mind the red highlights in my hair. But in the sun, I'm still like a carrot orange. So, and you guys, thank you so much for all the love and support on my last video. I really, um, I just appreciate it so much. And it's really comforting to know that I could just be real and keep it real with you guys. And thank you. But some of you did comment that all the changes with my hair they did coincide exactly with the time of my mom's diagnosis through her death and it's true I sometimes I remember after my uh, divorce I had hair that I could sit on and I cut it to the shortest it's ever been which was like right below my ears and that was way back in 1989 but plenty of time for all those stories so listen let me uh, open the windows here and turn on some music I'll give you some scenery shots, and after my hair, I'm going to catch up with Patty. So, keeping you guys with me today. Love you so much. See you in a minute. It's 105 and I'm just pulling in now, so not too bad. See you inside. See you guys, it's still way too red. So we're going darker. Alright, this is before. Hey guys, what do you think? Feels like me again. So we went around in a circle. It's not as dark as when I originally started, see? This is closer to my actual natural hair. So I'm really happy with it. I just spoke to Patty and Tom. I'm gonna meet Patty at her store. Um, she's not working today, but we're gonna meet up there and I'm gonna leave my car there and then we're gonna drive 
and get some Indian food. So I don't know if you'll see any more of me, but that's all I have to say for right now. I love you guys. I'm outside of Patty's shop and got the windows open, listening to some music. We'll see if she wants me to drive or if she's driving. I'm not sure. Okay guys, I left you in the car on accident when we were in the restaurant, but I just dropped off Patty back at the store. It's hard to leave her. We have so much fun hanging out and talking. She's really my sister, so that was really good. And I had amazing food. I'm really full. We got some chanaguna, which is the chickpeas, and we got some alumatar gobi, which is the cauliflower, potato, and peas and some rice pilaf and I keep looking at my hairdo so that was fun and it's hot as heck it was raining for a while I thought for sure we'd get a rainbow but I haven't seen one so it's almost six o'clock I'm gonna go home I'm gonna upload all these clips get the video out to you guys and relax and enjoy the rest of the evening uh, tomorrow like I said I think my daughter and grandkids are coming by so that's what that's going to be about and I may have my grandson Friday morning so I don't know but for right now this minute I'm enjoying the evening and I've had a great day so thanks for hanging out with me I'm going to open the windows turn on the music and say goodbye so I love you peace <laughs>